That's exactly right. Do I have any like terms? Yes. 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 What are they? Good. So like terms are side by side. So we look at the left hand side for like terms and then we look at the right hand side for like terms. On the right hand side it's just the 12 so we don't have any like terms there but we certainly have some like terms on the left. How much does that give us? 4y? Four. Four. Negative 4y. Four. 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 Which one? Negative 4y. Negative four. Four. So ne this gives us negative 4y, the 12 stays the same. Let's get rid of that negative 4, how do you do it? Divide. Good. In fact, we have a problem that's really similar to this one. Right there. What now? What? Yeah, when it's division, we keep that same sign. Okay, let's try one more together. I'll give you a couple to do on your own. What do you think you do first? What's your idea? Cool, do I have any like terms? Let's do that. Over here, we're good. We're, we're x over negative 3. On the right hand side, we're going to do a 12 minus 3. How much does that give us? And then lastly, we're going to do what? By what? By negative 3. As long as we do it on both sides. Threes will be gone. I'll get x. On the right hand side, we'll have negative 27. That's as good as we can get. Why don't you give three of these a try and then move on? more mower. So combine like terms first, then you should have a problem like we've seen before. Okay, so the first one. 
we do have some like terms. Not on the left-hand side. That's just going to be x plus 6. There's nothing we can combine there. But on the right-hand side, we have 1 minus 3. Notice how you can use the combining like terms method to, com to subtract these integers. I would circle the integers with their signs, just like that. We've done that before, right? Yeah. Use it addition rule there. The signs are different. You'd subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number, and you get how much? Negative 2z. Would you raise your hand if you made it down that far? Good, that's fantastic, okay. Now we have a problem we've worked with before. We got one of the, one of those, or one of the ones I had up here on the board earlier. All we have to do is realize this is a one-step problem. Let's get everything away from x. In this case, we're going to be subtracting 6. And I'm hoping you got negative 8. Did you get negative 8? Yeah. Good deal. Could you check your answers? Yeah. If you plug them into the original, it should work out. Let's do the next one. Of course, we do have some like terms. I know we know that 2m and minus 4m are like terms. If you're not circling those and you're messing up your signs, try, try circling them because you have to circle with the sign. That's going to clue your mind into, oh, they have different signs. I need to subtract them, keep the sign a bigger number. Should we get 2m or negative 2m? Negative 2m. Good. On the left-hand side, 10 stays the same, but negative 2m is what we need to have on the right-hand side. Lastly, what are we going to do here? Plus. What now? Divide by 2. Good. By negative 2, that's great. We're going to get m equals negative 5. Perfect. By the way, it doesn't matter the order in which you have this. You could have like a over here, negative 4 equals b, or if you like it better, you could put b equals negative 4. It really doesn't matter what side that's on. I didn't check your answer on the first one. Well, you'd plug it in, but you'd have to do this math over again. So I'd recommend make sure you know you're doing this right and plug it into here. Okay. okay. This one would probably be the easier one to plug it into. You do negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. That is the same, because you'd have to redo that math okay. anyway. Okay. Okay, last one. We're going to combine some like terms. Negative 8 and 6, well, those have different signs, subtraction on the bigger number. You need to be getting negative 2. On the right-hand side, we have y over 3 still, but we need to get rid of that 3. What are we going to do to get rid of that 3? We're going to do that to both sides. I'm going to keep the negative 2 in some parentheses to show that that's a negative. I'm not subtracting 2. It's 3 times negative 2. That's what we want to show. 3's are gone. I get y and perfect. By a show of hands, how many people feel okay with what we just done? Good. Are you ready to start making this a little bit more advanced? Start building this up more and more and more. Okay, good. of our time, it's going to be, I do one, you do one. I do one, you do one. We're going to go back and forth like that. So you repractice immediately what we're just learning, okay? All right, well, the first question would be, do I have any like terms? Yes. Before you get going on an equation, you absolutely must combine your like terms. So looking on the left-hand side of our equation, could you tell me what are my like terms on the left? So I, I need to combine those, 5x and negative 4x. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do I have any like terms with the two? Do these count as like terms with this term? Oh, no. Different sides. Okay, they're, if they're not on the same side, they cannot be like terms. So 5x minus 4x, how many x's are we going to get? One. Which one? Positive one or negative one? 
Sure, because we have different signs, you'll subtract, sign the bigger number, you get positive x. We don't need to write 1x because it's implied there's a 1 in front of it. What else do I need to write on the left-hand side? Plus 2. Oh, yeah, don't forget about that plus 2. We didn't do anything with that. Are you starting to see that really what we're doing is, com is putting together a couple ideas? We're putting together combined like terms, which you've done before. We're putting together combining like terms or adding subtracting integers, which you've done before, with equations that we've just accomplished. So we're just tying all this stuff together. How about 7 and negative 19? How much does that give us? Negative 12. Good. That's it. Well, you tell me, are we done? No. Do you have x by itself? No. Our goal is to get x by itself. Now, we're really close. We've combined like terms, we've combined like terms. Man, this one looks a whole lot better than what we started with, right? This is just now a one step problem. What's the one step? Negative okay. 2. Minus 2. So x and? Negative 14. Perfect. That's exactly right. Try one on your own. Be careful on your signs. That's where people get fouled up on this stuff. So I'm wanting you to combine some like terms. After you do that, it should be just a basic equation. If I look to combine some like terms, it's always our first step of the equations. We look for like terms on the left, we look for like terms on the right, try to combine them we can. On the right hand side, I'm going to do the easy side first. I've got 19. 17 plus 2, no problem. Left hand side, I do see some like terms. I'm seeing the negative 6y, you have to circle that number with the sign, and the plus 7y. How much is that going to give us, negative 6y and plus 7y? <coughs> Good. And then? Minus 1. Sure, that minus 1, that has to be there as well. There's only one more step. Plus addition of the side. Sure. So y equals 20? Y equals 20. By show of hands, somebody got y equals 20. Good for you, that's fantastic. Still got some equations. Do we have any like terms? Yes. For sure. Let's combine them. Yeah. On the right hand side, why don't you tell me what I'm going to get when I combine my 15 and my minus 19? What am I going to get there, ladies and gentlemen? Four. Four. Perfect. I could do the circling, different signs, subtract, sign the bigger number. We get negative 4. You're absolutely right. On the left hand side, I see the 7x, I see the minus 8x or negative 8x. What am I going to get out of that? Negative x. That's it. We've got to be careful on this, whether you're going to get x or negative x. Negative x. 